Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So today um, I'm going to be discussing the um, EasyCap DC60 Plus and Video Glide issue. A lot of people have been having. Um, if you purchase something like this off of uh, eBay and it came with a disc that looks kind of like this, might be yellow, might be you know have various different colors. Um, this is pretty much a knockoff. Of course, when I first bought it, I didn't know much about the product or Video Glide or any of that. And this disc has Video Glide version 1.3. It also includes a serial number, which turned out to be a volume key, which has now been disabled. And um, so when I bought this, I didn't realize I needed Video Glide or any of that. But it came with the disc, and I installed it, and I used the serial number that was included. And that's where the problems began. About a week or two later, it quit working, and so I went to Video Glide and downloaded 1.4.6, I guess it is now. Um, but uh, anyway, I downloaded uh, version 1.4 and tried to install it. And after I purchased a valid serial uh, number, I was not able to reinstall it or get the serial number prompt to be able to reinstall the software and get everything working properly. <coughs> so uh, I went in and. Um, deleted version 1.3 off of my hard drive. Um, go to applications, you'll see uh, video glide and everything. Now version 1.46 has an uninstall tool, but when I did the uninstall in version 1.3 for some reason, it did not remove a folder out of my preferences and that was causing part of the issue. So if you go into library, go into preferences, zoom in here a little bit, and then look for a folder um, after you do the uninstall. Look for a folder there called Echo FX Preferences. If that's there, then you'll need to delete that as well. From there, you'll want to jump over to Google and you can type in Video Glide, and Echo FX will be the first uh, link there. So purchase your key, then you want to come back and you want to reinstall the software. Now, here's an issue that I came into, and I think this might be uh, part of other people's problems. Um, I did the reinstall and uh, went to enter my key, but it was not asking me where, you know, to enter my key number. How the heck do you get back to enter your key? One solution, um, the first solution I showed you about removing the preferences folder, that was my problem, I think, trying to get rid of that. But another solution is to um, download the, uh, the software, uh, unplug your EasyCat first, okay, unplug it from your USB port. This is the main problem that I ran into my second time around when I was trying to do a demo video for this. Anyway, um, unplug the EasyCat, install 1.4.6, start up the software, and then make sure everything's running good, exit the software, then plug in your EasyCat and start the software again. And at that point, it should ask you to enter your serial number. Uh, which you can enter the one that you've purchased from the Echo FX software company. So, um, primary thing, um, like I said, remove the preferences folder and then unplug this and start it up once to make sure everything's working. And I notice on my MacBook when I plug this in, if it's kind of dangling, you know, kind of hanging off, it doesn't really want to start properly. So make sure when it's plugged into your USB port that it's got a good surface, you know, because if it's kind of dangling like that, it, it you know, it's not good for the port. It's kind of weighty, I guess, you know. So maybe it's even better if you have an external cable, uh, an extension that you can plug this into. So anyway, um, hopefully this helps uh, you guys solve some problems. Uh, if you're using 1.3, just make sure that you go into Library, Preferences, and then delete that folder for Echo Effects. And if you're using version 1.4.6, it should automatically remove that for you. So, all right, I hope this helps you guys out. Just remember to unplug the the USB dongle in between the installation when you delete the files and you do your fresh install and once you plug that in it should ask you for your serial number and then you can enter that in there so alright hope this video helped you out if it did please post a comment if not poke my home and as usual thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help